today's video, we're gonna have a little fun in Canva and have our animation talk like I am now, as well as having our tunes or characters blinking. All right, so here we are in Canva. I'll go ahead and um, create a design. It's going to be 1080 by 1910, or you can just click on the video. We go into our project and elements. Here we go, projects. Click on the three projects I've worked on. And I'll show you the first one with the fish popping out of the water. As you can see, there's a stationary sun. I can have it move if I liked, but I just left it as it is. I have these butterflies on the right floating in the air. And as you can see, his eye is closed. And the way I did that, if you click on the circle, you can use any shape. In this case, I used the circle. And then you wanna go ahead and resize it to make sure you don't see any lines. And you can use the color to match the skin of the fish. Could be a little darker or lighter, depending on how you wanna use it. In this case, it's somewhat close to the skin of the fish. And then once I have it adjusted to my liking, I'll go ahead and scroll to animate or go up to animate. Make sure you're on element animations and you start looking for something that says baseline. This is what we want as a baseline. And you can already see it taking effect. Then you click on baseline and then you scroll down and you wanna have animate to both and speed to really slow and we'll correct that later. And then you have the direction up or down it really doesn't matter at this point because it works either or. And as you can see on the right, we need to adjust the duration. Have the eye close and then quickly open. And the way we do that is click on the duration button on the bottom and then we sort of play with the playhead. So the first scene or the first clip will be closed. The eye closed and this at the very end, you want it to appear to open just enough for that quick blink, which is gonna be in the next shot. So we have Closed, just about to open, and then open. And as you can see, the lid of the, the eyelid starts to move just about, and then boom, we have the eye open. And then we have that effect of the blinking, and that works for any tune, any character. It doesn't really matter. And now, after we make our adjustment, we'll have to go to our grid view and copy our first and second clips. So we go to grid view, and as you can see, the most important ones are gonna be one and two, where the eye is gonna be open and closed. So I copied one and made it three, and then two into four, so we have eye open, closed, open, closed, open, closed, rinse and repeat, you get the idea. Like I said, it's sort of like a flip book, and then we'll go back our first page, close our grid view, and let's take a look at the scene. Once we hit the play button, we'll have multiple shots, and that gives us the effect of the fish closing his eye and opening it. Now I made a quick animation at the end, the popping out of the water, which is fine, it's extra. Well, the way I did that was basically to click on the image, go to animate, and here this time we'll do create animation, and here we just drag our image. You can make it slow or fast in a zigzag or upward motion. And that's how we create the fish moving. Thanks for watching. And these last remaining minutes of the video, I'll be showing you some other examples that I have, including this frog as well as the caveman. Thanks for watching.